Welcome to Nancy Nicholas Hall, home to the School of Human Ecology. It was originally built in 1912 as the School of Home Economics and was expanded and renovated in 2012. So that really left us with a beautiful modern building with a lot of historic touches as well. Um, it's a very sustainable building also. It's actually LEED Gold certified, so it's a perfect home to have our School of Human Ecology students. Today, the School of Human Ecology houses six different majors, including Human Development and Family Studies, Community and Nonprofit Leadership, uh, Reselling and Consumer Behavior, Textiles and Fashion Design, Personal Finance, as well as Interior Architecture. So as we walk down the first floor, the first floor actually houses several different key um, elements of our building. So the Design Gallery, which is the Ruth um, Davis Design Gallery, and also the Helen Louise Textile Collection. It's actually one of the largest university-held textile collections in the country, so it's really amazing that we have this right here in our building for students to learn from. Right down this way is actually our child development lab, so we also have a working functioning preschool right here in the school where students can learn through research and internships um, what it's like to actually be in early childhood development and to help um, them have actual observational opportunities to see how young people learn and grow. So our students in our interior architecture program really are designing unique and beautiful spaces for people. They're thinking about the materials that they're using. Are they environmentally sound and sustainable? So those are all things that they take into consideration when they're designing some of their spaces. And so this is an actual student design project in interior architecture. It's about a sophomore level project where they are required to design a piece of furniture that will actually hold someone's weight and they meet with a real life client to take measurements, to ask them for feedback about what they like about their chair. This was actually designed specifically for me from a group of about three or four students last semester. This is actually the textile and fashion design half of the floor. Students in this major are designing textiles, apparel, accessories, um, they're generally interested in fashion. So this is our weaving studio. So you can see, you know, students have access to all of these beautiful yarns and these beautiful looms in order to learn how to weave and to create beautiful fabrics. This is actually the print and dye studio. So you can see that students actually learn how to do uh, screen printing as well. And there are some examples of what the screen printing actually looks like um, as an end product here on the wall. So this is generally where students are making apparel. And we do have an annual fashion show. It's a student-run um, fashion show showing all student work. It's really amazing. It happens every April. So if you've never been, I'd encourage you to check it out. It's amazing to see that all come to fruition. This is a fairly iconic image um, here on campus. So this is what we call our 100 Women Wall. It pays homage and respect to all of the women who helped to make our building and our programs possible.